Hello everybody and welcome to Liverpool Lime Street. Today we're here in this class 507, it's not really, uh, but we, 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 shh. we're here, it's a busy and bustling Liverpool Lime Street because obviously this is a thing that happens in the real world. There's obviously Mersey Rail trains that run out of here, but it's the best I can do. It's just shush. Um, there's things coming and going, trundling around. He's going somewhere. He'll be going somewhere. We'll be going somewhere. We're all going somewhere. Um, and there's there's more things floating about. Um, where are we going? We are going to Ditton Junction. Wherever that is. Seven stops away. Um, Let's start off by getting our safety systems unisolated. Um, getting all of the passenger amenities catered for. Uh, I think that's everything that we need for there. We'll turn the um, lights on for there and we'll stick our guards key in. Come off the power. Uh, it's a big difference running up here on um, on steam than to well these electric units. Big difference. And also, it feels much brighter than it it should be. It feels a lot brighter than it should be. Oh yeah, whatever. These are some lovely track joins. Thank you, game. Lovely, lovely. Do we have... Oh, we do have... Okay, on this route. We've got the dynamic thingy bobs. Anyway. Can now come up to 30 miles an hour. As we climb up to Edge Hill. Looks like the terrain hasn't quite finished loading. Or maybe it has, I don't know. And here's our friend up here. Oh, that is so bright. Okay, off back to notch two. It is, it is very bright now, as it's midday, so that could be a factor. Makes for some nice lighting though, especially on that yellow livery. Particularly deep cutting, isn't it? Very deep. I think we might be catching up to the train in front. I don't know why I turned the hat off. My driving technique is simply that good. And it wouldn't be anything else like lower line speeds or anything. Wouldn't. All the driving technique. Does this have any functionality? Yes, but it doesn't make the satisfying noises. Actually, that's quite nice. Okay, we're now Edge Hill. Let's go for a stop. We're a six car unit, so I'll wait until I know the whole car will be in the train. Uh, we'll be in the platform. A full service brake, as is procedure with the three step west code. And then I'll pull back to notch one just before we stop. 
to enter a smooth stop. And then throw it back into full service. Grab another screenshot. And this unit, I don't know where it's off to. Somewhere. I think it might actually just be staying here. Yeah, signals are dead. I don't know, I just, I reused an old, um, yeah. I reused an old, um, an old thingo, an old scenario for this, so that'd be why there's some similarities. Are the trains coming up? Oh, they are. Nice. Oh, I opened them on the wrong, no I didn't. We just need to close the doors. Our signals are good to go, however. So we can disappear. Track it back into notch two. Oh, the mass of rail lines, it is so oh actually they patched this route very recently didn't they so that could be one of the reasons why it's a bit different i remember them ranting on about big new patches and whatnot so yeah i think that's probably why off over here we go up the flyover Very nice. A bit more power. There we go. And our next stop is Waver Tree. Come down for that 20 mile an hour limit as we cross over onto the slow lines. Touch more brake because we're on a downhill now. service and at about four mile an hour pull back to notch one a nice smooth stop there we go look at that lighting couldn't ask for better got movement behind us oh this okay so he's stuck because that train's not moving right okay great it's not definitely wouldn't be an oversight in uh, my planning there so he's trundling along now and there's another unit behind him I think that's all of the AI that I put on here pretty certain anyway get ready to lock up the doors It is actually quite strange, this mix of old traction, uh, sorry, well, relatively old traction by today's standards, but could you imagine if you would, you know, you this rocked up and you're expecting a steam loco and it'd probably run away.
They are very cool, though. And what amazes me is, because Steam Locos, they don't accelerate particularly quickly, but they could still run all of this local service. Might have overcooked this. Hopefully not. Oh well. No, I don't accept that. We're going back. Smooth, comfortable stop as much as is possible. That's your one uh, one spad, not spad, one overrun for this video. You got a double yellow. The second puff up. The second puff in Sydney. So that's a distance signal, yeah. Protecting against what exactly? I don't know. Let's get our doors to locked. Oh, the freight's in under pressure, guy. And off we trot. to 50 there it is and there's our friend the other train we'll go full service break now Yeah, that looks like a better braking distance. Come back to notch two now. Step two. And step one. It's actually undercooked it a bit that time. But what can you do? Just give it a bit more power. Step two, down to three mile an hour, and then slowly release. Woman, get out of the way. It looks very filtered. I don't know if it's the colour, but the whole thing looks very bright. Oh, hello. Gee whiz, I've just done the wrong thing. Open the both side doors instead of closing. That's fine. Oh, hang on. Screenshot. Stop moving. Hang 
Okay, now you can go. Are the markers between the coaches on? Mm, they're not on this one, but they were on mine. What's that about? They are. They should not be bouncing around like that. But okay, whatever. Full service. So I sort of want to be hitting the platform at about 35 maybe. No higher than 30. Sorry, no lower than 30. Well that was 30 and that is still very short. So I think 35 is the magic number. Is the whole train in the platform? Oh, so close. Got the last car hanging off. Warning, have you paid? Oh. Lighting is very good, and especially off the like ribbed doorway in the center of the peps, and it creates the shadow and the contrast. It does look very nice. Keep turning the HUD off. A bad habit. You got Allerton, Halebank, and Ditton Junction left. A bit more power, perhaps. Still got all green. And that's on the distance. I don't know what the double yellow was about before. Ah, whatever. Full service break. Breaks there. <coughs> Back to full service. No, not emergency. Full service. In the platform? Yes. Step two. Full service. And something is happening over here, but not much. This is such a useful connection. See, that's not half bad. Anyway, let's come back to the cab.
So we've got clear distant and a clear absolute uh, on the semaphore mast up ahead. So we're all good. Oh god, that grass coming through, that is hideous. But these yards do look a bit better. Bit of green coming through, I like that. I think it looks a bit more bland though. I think they might have taken a bit of scenery out. Building a new bridge over. Here's the famous uh, famous gantry. Some lower quadrant signals there. It's unusual for this part. And I believe this is abandoned. Either that. No, it looks abandoned. Yeah. Disused. Yeah, everything does look a bit saturated. bit too vibrant. Oh, that grass is it's very, very green. Is it just me or is that too much? I, I mean, I don't know. Could be. Could be correct. I mean, do you think it's changed? If you're still watching? If you're still watching, comment, and also if you have the route, tell me if you think it's changed, because I think it has. Cruising along nicely here. Clear on the distance signal. Yeah, that little green strip in the middle, that is ghastly. That's a bit better. That isn't. That's alright. Love the smoke coming out of that factory. That is quite nice. A good touch. And how it's sort of dynamic. If not just a very long loop. It looks like it's, you know, natural. In all of their research that they put into steam, 
it's good because they've recycled that into other things like clag for diesel locomotives and things for the scenery and stuff like that. They've got a double yellow off that as well. That signal doesn't go to danger, I don't think. No. We will fit in the platform. I didn't think we would. Right, it's come to a stop there. And grab the doors. Like these houses as well, they've got the smoke effects. That is pretty cool, I have to admit. I mean, if it is the smoke effect, and that would mean it changes with the wind as well. Which is also cool. They've changed direction a bit, because it was on, on this downward leg here. The sun was beautiful, and now I've got the cross. Amazing, because there's no station from here all the way to here. And there are stations everywhere along that bit. And then the next station is just over there, which is where we're going next. It's also where we're finishing. It's a big junction here. Big junction. It's a bridge as well. And that's Run Corn. And then we come and join the main line. The last time I drove the service stopping at all stations along here, it was in a steam train, and I did quite badly overshoot Ditton Junction. So, I've only overshot once, so fingers crossed, what happened? Fingers crossed. We'll shut off the power there, we'll leave it off. Bit of a funky semaphore there. We've got another huge gantry. And we'll go for step three brakes. Just because we're approaching the terminus, so I want to enter the platform a little bit slower a little bit more room for error. It's a bit weird having these roads here just go nowhere. I guess, you know, whatever. So I don't want to spam past that signal. Because that would be bad. Got the brakes released so quickly. It's because it's a um, electro-pneumatic rather than just a straight air brake. And it's because they're disc braked as well. It's one of the some of the first units to be disc braked, if I'm correct in saying. So I can't actually see the brake shoot. Oh, is that them on the side there? Must be. Must be on the middle. Conveniently where you can't see. There's the pantograph bay. Stop the doors. Okay, and that is the end of that service. Um, thank you all very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. If you have any video suggestions, please do let me know. 
um, I do read all of the comments and I also respond to all of them so um, if you have any video requests then stick them down and if they're good enough I'll make them for you goodbye Thank you.